Clay Clark is here somewhere. Where's my buddy Clay? Clay's the greatest. I met his goats today. I met his dogs. I met his chickens. I saw his compound. He's like the greatest guy. I in ran it. from his goats, his chickens, his dogs. <laughs> So this guy's like the greatest marketer you've ever seen, right? His entire life, Clay Clark, his entire life is, is, is marketing. 4,000% from February to February. Now, I can better that, okay, Clay? I don't think you know this. I don't think you know this. I, I'm pinching myself, and if I cry, forgive me. In the last two and a half days, we have bettered our entire month of February in the last two and a half days. So, and the phone's blowing up. Everything's just blowing up. Blowing. You're right, it is like a rocket ship. So we're pinching ourselves, actually. I learned at the Academy in Kings Point in New York, octa non verba. Watch what a person does, not what they say. Some shows don't need a celebrity narrator to introduce the show, but this show does. In a world filled with endless opportunities, why would two men who have built 13 multi-million dollar businesses altruistically invest five hours per day to teach you the best practice business systems and moves that you can use? Because they believe in you, and they have a lot of time on their hands. They started from the bottom, now they're here. It's the Thrive Time Show starring the former U.S. Small Business Administration's Entrepreneur of the Year, Clay Clark, and the entrepreneur trapped inside an optometrist's body, Dr. Robert Zutner. Two men, eight kids, co-created by two different women, 13 multi-million dollar businesses. We started from the bottom, now we We started from the bottom, and we'll show you how to get you. started from the bottom, now we We started from the bottom, now we I started from the bottom, and now we're at the top Teaching you the systems to get what we got Colton Dixon's on the hooks, I break down the books The seeds bringing some wisdom and the good looks As the father of five, that's why I'm alive So if you see my wife and kids, please tell them hi It's the CNC up on your radio And now three, two, one, here we go We started from the bottom, now we here We started from the bottom, and we'll show you how to get here started from the bottom, now we out there unable to move past rejection you're never going to win quit saying this i mean what if they say i'm no good what if they say get out of here kid you got no future i mean i just don't think i can take that kind of rejection that's what people say all the time and i just want to ask you out there why are you letting your feelings of rejection get in the way and stand in the way of you achieving your ultimate success. This is your year to be your best, but you've got to get 100 no's to get that yes because that is what will lead to your ultimate success. And oh, by the way, your father-in-law won't like your business idea. <laughs> Guaranteed. <laughs> oh, by the way, if he does like it, your mother-in-law won't. Yep. Oh, true. by the way, if they both like it, a customer won't like your logo. Mm -hmm. Oh, by the way, if the customer likes your logo and the parents are on board, your brother will be mad that you didn't hire him. And oh, by the way, if all those people are all copacetic and things are kumbaya, then your competitor is going to be pissed. And if, by the way, if your competitor is not pissed, then you're losing. Yeah, if you're not upsetting some competitors, you're not doing something right. But if you're just fearing rejection at all times, mm -hmm. you can't win as a business owner. No. So get off the freaking field. If you can't resolve that in your mind, that you can push through rejection You've got to you got to deal with this entrepreneurial infection because you're having like this entrepreneurial seizure right now where you think you want to be self-employed but you can't handle it if you can't handle rejection. Oh, I want to be an entrepreneur. I want to. I watched this Ty Lopez video about yachts. Of course you want a yacht, <laughs> unless you're mentally uh, damaged, your your brain damaged. You're going to want a nice car or a nice house. Of course, wanting success is so much different. It's so very different than being willing to do what it takes to have success. If you see a video that talks about. It's usually a guy with a British accent who's on the YouTube channel, <laughs> and his backyard is a waterfall, and he says, hello there. Are you finding yourself working right now in a dead-end job? Do you want to have success and passive income? 
Do you, just merely six months ago, I was slaving away at a job and now I am self-employed and enjoying every minute of my passive income. Click here, click here to learn my simple system, my secrets for success at my upcoming seminar. Click here to learn success. No, don't click here. Get the Start Here book. You can download the Start Here book. It's like a 500-page book. You can download it for free. Read the things in the book for free, by the way. You can go to thrivetimeshow.com. Go to thrivetimeshow.com and download the Start Here book for free. And then also download Search Engine Domination for free. Download the book. It's uh, uh, Go to thrivetimeshow.com. Download the book. Get the book. Download it for free. And then implement everything in it implementation is the hard part. You see, ideas are easy, but it's implementation that's hard. And why is it hard? Because you're going to have to make your employees actually do their freaking job. And Dr. Breck, Dr. Breck, it turns out sometimes employees don't want to do their job. No, they don't. Why? Yeah. <laughs> well, they're the employees. They don't look at it as but a what business if, owner. But what, if, but what if I, I have to manage my staff today and I feel rejection? What's going to happen? What if I fear rejection? If you fear it, yeah, yeah you're not going to be very productive at all. You're not going to have a good day. They're going to eat so, you. I mean, yep. you've, you've got to be the boss. You've got to get over this fear of rejection. And now without any further ado, back to our interview with... I do this for a living. Our interview with Oren Claff. Uh, I mean, if, if we take all the people that said, hey, uh, you know, thanks for the training. Um, thanks for the instruction. We just went out and raised money. I mean, I've, I've worked on some deals that are multi-billion dollar deals alone. But I've looked in the whites of the eyes of investors and and three, four, five hundred million dollars, gotten them to wire, send a check, uh, uh, send over. And so quite an extensive amount of, of dealing with money. Panic, boom. So you, uh, you've written a book that's done very well. You have a massive collection of motorcycles. What, what, what yeah. inspired you to write this, this new book, Flip the Script? Why aren't you just riding motorcycles all day? Why aren't you just uh, you know, looking at uh, uh, trophies uh, that you've gotten yourself or, or achievements you've done in the past? Why, why have you decided to move forward and to write another book, this new book, Flip the Script? God damn it. That is the question of all time. You know, We live by the beach here in Southern California, drive around in this stupid Lamborghini, got motorcycles. I got a little boy, five years old, so I'm late in life with a five-year-old, you know, walk to the beach. Why can't I just leave well enough alone, right? Uh, I don't know. You know, it's, it's – my I've got an agent, and she pesters me. Can you write a new book? Well, and, and then ultimately, here's why. Things have changed dramatically uh, there in, in the world today. We're so reliant on tech in the sales environment, right? right. Think of the thousands of companies that have uh, CRMs and marketing management and um, uh, funnel management and funnel hacking and you know Zapier and um, uh, APIs for you know marketing and website integration, right? I mean, a- any little tiny thing that you need web forms, that, anything that's in the marketing funnel has been automated and has some technology underneath it. The irony is once you get a lead, you know, it's not a click to buy, it's not a $2,500 purchase, it sort of gets up into $5,000, $25,000, right? You got to talk to someone, get in a room with them. Oh, get, get out of here. You got to talk to people? <laughs> Real pe- no, no, we want a click right. funnel. <laughs> so, we want a click funnel. Yeah, talk to people. So, Right. So it's, it, once it's out of the click funnel and somebody goes, you know what? I have a question. It looks good. Mm. But, you know, $50,000, I, I got a couple questions. Oof. Then the irony is there's no technology. Any, right. any technology at all will make it worse, right? Oh, my presentation is just trying to load. I can't get Skype to turn on. Uh. Uh, you know, Dropbox didn't uh, move the file. Any technology Preach at it. the point of I would like to talk to you about this deal makes things worse. And so we're so dependent on technology and you know lead management. Leads are abundant and conversion is dropping and dropping and dro- you know human to human conversion is people don't understand it today and it and it has changed, right? Because right. buyers uh, have been, you know, by Amazon uh, gamified that the moment you tell them what all the features are, what all the benefits are, yep. and what the price is, 
They go, hey, thanks a lot. I uh, really appreciate it. There's something we're very interested in. If you could just send over the deck and send over the proposal. Uh, if we have any additional questions, uh, we'll check back with you in a week or two. You know, I have to show this to my partner, the management committee, the board of directors, the uh, Shamu, the whale, and Sasquatch. We have tied up out back, and he reviews all of our deals before we sign them off. And so there's this uh, sense of people that whatever it is you have yep. can be – a coupon code exists for it or it can be gotten for less from another firm or it could be had for free, but they're damn sure not going to buy it from you until they've tried the system, you know, to get it, to find it somewhere else or, you know, to find some information about you, which allows them to lever you into a lower position. That's how buyers behave today. If you don't understand that, I'll explain it like this. Uh, I've been increasing my running volume, you know, so I'm up to more than 20 hours, uh, uh, 20 miles a week. 22, 23 miles, and I'm also at CrossFit, I'm also riding a bicycle, and I'm also Methuselah, you know, older than anybody who could be possibly listening to this. So so I need some equipment for recovery, and there's this thing called Normatech. You, do you know what these things are? Normatech? Yeah. Um, is that a uh, Sky Vodka product? Yeah, no, it is. It is. It's also oh. these compression recovery uh, oh. units. Put your legs in them, and they, they compress with airbags in a certain <laughs> sequence. That's supposed to, you know, re revitalize um, your your equipment, your legs. Well, you're looking right? good, by so, the way. You're looking good. I'm looking at you right now, and your your face looks revitalized. I don't see a lot of leg shots here, but your head shots look incredible. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, continue. I'm sorry. Back to I, I just revitalized. So, so I'm in good shape. Uh, and so I, I so I need a pair of Normatex. So I go to Normatex.com, and they're 2,500 bucks. And go, okay, you know, I need them. I can afford them. My coach told me to get them, but I go, mm, eh, I hop over to Amazon. Yeah, because I'm yeah. trained to do that. Oh, on Amazon they're twenty three hundred bucks. Okay, all right. Let me get them from Amazon. Them Amazon Prime. I'll get them in two days. Oh wait, let me just hop over to eBay because you know when you when you buy uh, motorcycles, you're very eBay proficient because you need parts and stuff. So that you know it's only available. Uh, so so on eBay, sure enough, used twice. Right, twenty one hundred bucks. Oh, I go. moved from twenty five hundred bucks to twenty one hundred just by you know in sixty seconds or less. Yep. And I'm like, okay, I'll just get them from eBay. I won't get them tomorrow, but I don't need them tomorrow. You know what? Let me just check Craigslist. Yep, sure as hell. Nineteen hundred dollars used three times. Not doing triathlons anymore. Come get them. Come on. So, Come on. so you're rewarded. The buyer is rewarded for, in essence, looking for a product, a service. Finding out he can get it and saying that's an option. Now I'm going to stall that option, tell him, you know, hey, it's basically go ahead. I just got to check with the committee. And then they're going to go out and look for cheaper, better, free. There it goes. If they can't find it, then they come back, negotiate you a little bit better. Uh, and, and, you know, they get smart. So buyers are incredibly smart. They gamify the system. And sellers don't have tools to deal with today's kind of buyer and that motivated me to help people out so if i buy this book flip the script and Orin, i just want to make sure the listeners out there know the kind of the kind of financial sacrifice they're going to have to make to buy this book so i'm going on amazon right now yeah it's kind of rude to be typing while doing a show but i'm just i'm going to look it up here andrew look it up we're going to look up the book here i'll flip, flip, flip the script i'm looking for the book i see the book and i noticed that if i were to buy the book right now i would have to part with 22 dollars and 19 cents. Now, it's a, now it's a big shot author. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but you're going to get maybe what 15 percent of that, maybe 10 percent. Yeah, I'm going to get a buck. I'm going to get, get a, a buck. Okay, this is this. I, I, I call I call this. This is a new thing I'm doing. It's called support a starving, very successful author. And for as little as one dollar a day, all the listeners, if we all do it one dollar a day, we can support you so you can buy another Lamborghini. And I'm trying to help you raise that money. So I want to make sure the listeners check this out because this is going to require sacrifice. Or I can't go buy a, a regrettable burrito. I can't buy 17 energy drinks I shouldn't have. I can't watch half of a bunch of Netflix films. Or I'm going to have to sacrifice to get this book that could change my life because your book pitch anything. I mean that book, that book changed the way I view presentations. And what, what year did that book come out, by the way? Yeah, so that was 2009, 2010. Dude, you're starving us, man. This is a 10 years in the coming here. Like 10 I years, know. this book, I, we've been waiting on it for 10 years. So the listeners out there, some of the listeners are out there going, hey, I'm, I'm on a budget. I can only buy one or two regrettable caffeinated beverages at a gas station per week now if I'm going to you know, cut back the budget to buy this book. So tell us, what can we find in this book, and why should we all sacrifice the money yeah. needed to buy this book? 
Yeah, the, the, if you'd like to pitch anything, this book is going to blow you back in your socks. Uh, it, I think Pitch Anything showed you what was possible, that you could walk into a room of a bank, an investment firm, uh, a, a potential huge client, a client that was going to make your year no matter what size the deal was, okay? And you could say, hey, guys, uh, it's 10 o'clock. I think we agreed to kick off. Actually, 10.03. If you're ready, uh, why don't we get this thing kicked off? I know you're waiting for a couple people. But let's get started. We'll let them catch up. So we've been working pretty hard uh, to get on each other's calendar. I don't know if we're smart or if we're just lucky, but we're super busy this time of year. I know you're uh, busy, too. We got a little bit of time together before you have to get back to the coal mine. We have to get back to work as well. I've prepared about a 15-minute presentation. I'm going to take you through it, and then we want to hear a little bit about you because as much as you're evaluating us and trying to figure out, have we solved your kind of problem before? Are we good at it? What are our credentials? You know, What are our ideas look like? Where? What's our pricing model? As much as you need to know those things, we need to know things about you. And we, we like you. We wouldn't have come here and prepared to meet with you, and we're excited to do business with you. On the other hand, we see some things that are red flags that we want to spend some time clearing up before we would ever take you on board. So we got some work here to do today. Let's kick it off. Uh, does anybody need fluids in or out? If not, let's get started. So that was hot. You, 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 you mean you're going to tell somebody who you're who you are pitching to that you have some potential red flags about them? Uh, if you don't, you're lost, right? Because otherwise, you're obsequious. <laughs> you're you're yes. cloying. You know, yes. you're supplicating. You are. Um, you know, mollifying, you are trying to impress, you're needy, right? And if you don't do that, you just come across as needy. And worse, uh, the the buyers will just say, hey, I've seen this before, right? This, um, and, and the, if you're needy and you come across as needing their business, you know, a couple things happen. They start to have power over you. Mm. And that's, so, Pitch Anything showed you that you could do this, that these frames exist, power frames, right? And how to deal with the power frames and show you that you don't have to walk in and say, thank you so much. We really appreciate you seeing us. I'm very excited to be here today. Uh, you know, if you need, if you, uh, uh, we're going to give you a presentation. If you have any questions, feel free to interrupt, uh, you know, at any time and happy to answer them. Very, very, you know, you'll find that we have the best customer service. You know, we try the hardest. If we, if we are able to get a deal done, you find we're the best um, firm and we'll work the hardest because the customer is always right. When you say that stuff, it encourages the buyer uh, to think of themselves as powerful, right? As the the most important party mm -hmm. in that room in that meeting. That's what Pitch Anything showed, right? The buyer isn't the most important party. You are the most important. Part. What, what does the buyer have? They have a commodity, money. You get money anywhere, right? Well, the buyer has a problem and you solve their, even if it's an investment, right? You saw that the problem is they have to get money out, right? Although it just sits there, you know, doing, doing nothing. Uh, so you're the best at what you do. You're the most, uh, uh, um, you work the hardest at it. Yep. You're the most honest, ethical, forthright. You invest the most. Um, you, you have done this. Uh, you, you, you come to the seller's office or come to a Skype and meeting with them because you know you can solve their problem and you're dedicated. Nobody else is as dedicated to this specific problem as you are. They need you, right? So, so lots of times I will say, and, and the better you are at pitch anything and the better you are at flip the script, you, the more honest you can become. I will say to buyers, listen, I'm sorry. We got sideways here. I don't know what happened. Let, let me clear this up. In order to do business with us, right? You have this problem. We don't have it. You have the problem, like, right? So, in order to get this problem fixed, and we're probably the best people to fix it for you, you you have to take money out of your account and put it in our account. That's the only way it works. So, I don't know why you're saying these things, but I'm totally confused. We don't have another way of doing business where we become partners with you or, or you know, whatever. So, does that make sense? You're you're right? establishing and, a, a timeline of when you're going to be done when you're pitching. I love that. You know that you're you're letting them know, hey, I got 15 minutes or whatever. I love that. I love that you bring up that you have some red flag concerns. Your book, it does it. it your, your your books, plural, 
really do um, 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 flip the script. They're an entirely different way to... That's why I was listening to your book multiple times while I was in Dallas. I just kept listening to it going, what is he saying? And it seems well, so counterintuitive that it must be wrong. And I have, I have a question for you about this because I, I've now discovered that it is right. But I want to ask you, this is not a political show, but I want to get your take on this. Do you remember the debates when Trump was uh, debating with like Ben Carson and Jeb Bush? Do you remember that? Yeah, absolutely. And yeah. I was personally wanting to vote. I, I was behind Ben Carson. That was my guy. And Ben's a smart guy, you know, cardiologist, knows his thing. And I remember when Trump started off the debate by thanking him for being awake. I don't know if you remember yeah. that. Do you remember that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, and I said, and, he's breaking his frame. He's doing the orange clap. That was, that was absolute frame control. And those guys didn't know how to respond. And right. so that's why you have to get started with pitch anything. Oh. You, uh, so – I'll teach you the the number one frame breaker oh, do that it. you can just use. So, uh, so look when you have a call conference call with clients, uh, you know, on a small client, big client, I have calls with, uh, you know, hundred million dollar guys, five hundred million dollar companies all the time. They will always come late, right? Because they're busy and yeah, you know, you're pitching them and it's lucky to get them to a call, but they, you know, they never dial in at ten a.m. Right. And, and so they'll dial in at 10.03 or 10.05 or 10.06. If it's 10.09, we leave, right? I mean, that's an important lesson in frame control. You cannot be sitting on a conference line for 10 minutes and then let the buyer uh, you know, or the prospect dial in knowing that you've sat there twiddling your thumbs. That you know, they will absolutely be in a power position over you, and it, it won't work. There's nobody would do it. They won't do it in Silicon Valley. True. You know, it's not my opinion. It's True. not power plays. It you just won't have a deal. In Silicon Valley, you're five minutes late, you're gone. You know, that call's rescheduled or never, for sure. You know, they beat to the the drum of a German ticking clock. But but anyway, uh, so guys always dial in at 10.03, 10.04, right? And the first thing I say is I'll go, Hey Wolfgang, you're here for the 10.04 meeting? And I don't know why it works, but it's just frame control 101. And they always go, oh, yeah, I'm so sorry. You know, we got a shipment that was stuck at the <laughs> port. You know, it's a $100 million deal. I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry. I won't be late next time. So frame control, right? As you're saying, I always find a way to frame you do. their behavior yes. as a little bit awkward, right, in order to get frame control. If you don't have it, it you know, then, then the frame will be on you and they'll be controlling you. Can you uh, explain why? And again, I, I'm trying to give people uh, examples that everyone can relate to. But when Trump was asked about building a wall, and whether you're in favor of a wall or not, and they, you know, and the the guy who's asking him the question says, "Hey, you know, the head of Mexico says he's not going to help you build a wall," and then Trump responds with, "It just got taller." Why does that work? Like, why? Why does that work? Because some of the listeners out there are like, "I know that everyone cheered and it's memorable, but why?" Let me let me tell you what's going on there and how you can apply it in your world today, okay? It's in this way. You do not have to chase every conversation thread that comes up. So if the buyer says, uh, you know, how do you compare to your other top three competitors? 99 of 100 salespeople start to go down that route, right? Uh, we would say... Uh, you know what? How, if somebody said to me, you know, how do you compare to your top three competitors? You know, you have to break that frame. You can't chase that thread, right? I would say you're. We're exactly the same. We all do basically the same thing. <laughs> I you love do it. Not have to chase conversation threads that the buyer puts in front That's of you. So good, right? Oh. How much is it? Right. Here's how you break that frame. How, how much is it? Right. Which is the analyst frame. Well, we all know how much it is. It's more than you want to pay and less than we want to charge. That's how much it always is. <laughs> <laughs> listen, uh... listen. Here, here's what I can tell you. Right now, when we get to the price, I don't know what you need, right? It's not $400,000, but if you think you're going to get it for $100,000, you came to the wrong place, right? So it's somewhere in between there for sure. I could tell you, once we figure out everything that you need, we figure out, we scribble down a price, you're going to go, eh, that's what I thought. This is plain vanilla stuff right down the middle of fairway. The pricing is not exotic. You want me to throw a price at it now? I don't know, 250, 300, 325, right? Let's talk for a little bit what you need. We give you a price and you go, yeah, that's, you know, I that's normal. If you're telling me straight up right now, 
You want the absolute Costco China, you know, made in Taiwan, uh, you know, buy it today, keep the kid happy on Christmas Day, but it's broken the next day. If you want that version of it, that ain't us. And if that's where you're headed with this, let me know so I can help you. Because I know the guys at the It Works One Day on Christmas and It's Broken the Next Day company. John over there is a good guy. That's what they have. And it's like, you know, nothing. So if that's the one you want, just tell me. I'll hook you up with John. He'll take good care of you. But let me know what you need so I can help. You know, I uh, um, I certainly am not um, encouraging our listeners to insult people as a way to get ahead, but I want to just throw this out. You, you mentioned that these moves could be used for good and bad. And if you'll remember the elections when uh, Trump was really behaving badly, do you remember where he kept encouraging Jeb Bush to stay awake? Do you remember that? He kept encouraging him to bring some energy. Do you remember that during yeah. the debates? He just kept going, good job, Jeb. Like, Jeb would finish saying something. He'll great job there, uh, 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 Jebby. Way to bring some energy. Like, he just kept doing that, you know? So, Why does I that believe work? in frame control, and some people don't even like the tone they're hearing from me here. And, and I can sure you can say this stuff in your own tone. Sure. But as you get better at pitch anything and flip the script, you'll be more direct, more succinct, shorter, and more open, transparent, and honest. And that's where this tone comes from. It comes from being honest and having values and saying, look, I, I'll help you out. I'll bend over backwards, uh, but I'll, I will, you know, we'll do what we can. We'll, we'll, you know, we won't stop when we're tired. We'll stop when we're done and all that stuff, but I won't, I won't move away from my values, right? And my values are, we don't discount. My values are, we are, um, uh, you know, we spend time with our families. Our values are we're friends with our clients and customers. Our values are when we get an argument, uh, we, which we always will do. No relationship, uh, you know, survives the dating period without getting an argument. We will always come back and work as hard as possible. The last call before we die will be the legal and we'll do everything possible. We're very easy to get rid of. Just tell us if you don't want us around. We'll leave you alone, uh, give you your money back, all those things. But the one thing I won't do is change my values, right? And And so – that is a value determination, right? Do you enjoy making other people look bad in front of other people? I don't, right? Uh, so everybody's experienced this, you know, in a coffee shop, Yep. right? Where your buddy is like, hey, I told you, you know, I didn't want, uh, I didn't want, I want half a packet of sugar, not a whole sugar. I want full foam and double cup it. Come on, right? Whereas me, I'm just like, hey, whatever, I'm... <laughs> It's not the coffee I wanted, but it's not the so so. But everybody has seen somebody belittle a waitress or a server. For Christ's sake, I mean those guys are are you know making enough money to maybe get by, uh, you know, living with a couple people and roommates and and you know probably short on health care and all that stuff. Why berate and belittle them? So I don't. That's not my value. Berating and belittling belittling people. I have a good life. I don't like to lord it over people. Um, you know. So if I ram you with my Lamborghini, no. Uh, so, uh, uh, <laughs> well, I have, I have a fun. Uh, so that's a value. That's a value judgment, right? And and certainly, um, you know, Trump has made that value judgment, and he thinks it serves him. But in business, uh, you know, we just I just try and keep it clean. I do like to hold the buyer accountable for the values. That I'm committed to. And that's what I think Flip the Script really shows you how to do. You decide where you are in pricing, where you are and how much time you're willing to spend with the buyer before they decide. How willing you are to accept this, uh, hey, send us a proposal, right? So, so for example, when people say to us, we don't do proposals, right? Companies that have nothing to do write proposals. Uh, oh, we're that. happy. And we write agreements for deals, right? But – we're not going to write up a bunch of stuff, send it over to you before we, what, have a verbal agreement on a deal? What sense is that? Yes. So, yeah. Um, so, so you don't have to be cruel. You don't have to insult people, but you can be honest, direct, and forthright when you're anchored to the things that are important to you. You know, uh, Or what I want to do out of respect for your time, I have two final questions for you. Uh, one yeah. from me and one from a thriver who has uh, flown in here from uh, – uh, Daniel, did you fly in here from Amarillo or did you – I think your mic's on right there. Did you fly in from uh, from Amarillo or did you guys drive here? Yes, I flew in from Amarillo. Okay, and he owns a company called Daniel's Heat and Air. He's a longtime listener. 
and uh, he has a company, so I'm going to let him ask you any sales or persuasion question he could possibly think of, and then I've got a question for you real quick. All if right, I, awesome. If let's, I buy, let's roll. Autobots, roll out. If I, if I buy Flip the Script right now, um, maybe, what's maybe one way that book could change my life if I implement what is in your new book, Flip the Script? So the, the idea behind Flip the Script is as simple as Inception. You should never get to the point in a pitch, in a sale, in a presentation where you say, so what do you think? Is this something you'd be interested in? Do you have any questions? That's not what you do at the end of a you know sales presentation or, or telling people about your products or your ideas. What you really want is for the prospect or the buyer you know, or the, the person on their side of the deal to go, you know what? I, I love this. How do we get started? That's – the deal should close itself when the buyer says, I love it. How do we get started? And flip the script – is the process of getting somebody to that point. There we and go. that is how all of our deals close. We never go, uh, Mr. so Mr. Jones, what do you think? Are there any questions? Or if we get the price right, uh, can we move ahead today? It's always the case in the deals we close where they go, hey, I'm really excited. Can you send over an invoice? I want to get started on Monday. And that's what Flip the Script shows you how to do. Now, Daniel, uh, you have a company called Daniel's Heat and Air based in Amarillo, Texas. Your business is growing. A little fun factoid here for you. He's done more business this year during the first month of August than he did all of last year and during the entire month of August there, Oren. So he's having big growth there with his Heat and Air company. Daniel, what question do you have for Mr. Oren Claff? Okay, Mr. Oren Claff, uh, what is the uh, best rebuttal for a uh, customer that just wants to know a price of a air conditioning or anything? Yeah, yeah. I think, well, the key to this is the word rebuttal, right? So we do not want to be in argumentation with our customers. So, my, and I'm going to answer you quickly, but my sense is something has gone wrong uh, to get to that point. So I, I'm going to answer your question, but I would back you up, right? The reason that you're getting that question is the, that buyer doesn't believe that the world is changing, and he doesn't believe that you're the number one expert in the way that change is happening. And that's why you're getting those kinds of pricing questions, right? Because he wants to go out and shop it. All right. Uh, so, but, but when I do, so, so how's the question go? Hey, listen, uh, for the 27, 405 air cool freeze, 23, 179 unit, what's the price? 999. Right. And, and that, that, but that's a question he's asking you? Yes, that is a question. I, you know, I think the, the answer to that is, you know, as I've said before, the price is, I don't want to be snide. The price is more than you want it to be. And it's less than we want to charge for something like that. It's nine ninety nine. Then you got the 79, you know, and then I would, I would stack right? A million things on it. You know, air filtration, uh, you know, HVAC, HVAC code, are you compliant? Is your, and I would do a flash roll as I call it in the book, right? Where he should feel that you're the ultimate expert, right? So you would say, uh, you know, the price for the 23OC is 999. They've got a new one this year, which has the, you know, HVAC 23OC code, you know, that's compliant. And that one's 1399, you know, um, the, uh, uh, pulling a permit is twenty three ninety nine. Um, you know, hooking it up and getting the you know Bluetooth wired capable you know cell phone is twenty three ninety nine seven nine nine install. Like, what do you need? Here's what I can tell you. The price that we have is what it takes to get it working. You can buy it on the internet, get it shipped from wherever. To your house right and you could probably get it for 889 and if you want it for 889 let me give you the name of the guy over at air conditioners are cheap and they ship it good so i don't understand if you want the air conditioner if you want it working and in fact it's a little bit of a red flag for me <laughs> got it that's right it yeah. i'm happy to give you a specific price i just don't know enough here's what i can tell you Right. Andrew, you know what I'm going to have to do right now? I mean, right now you got that trigger finger ready over there. Andrew got the trigger finger ready, Orrin, and as is tradition here, 
if I have an author on the show and the author has a compelling argument, I just buy that. I, I throw caution to the wind, Oren, and I just buy the book. I just say, forget the Wonderful. caution, forget the budget. I'm going to spend twenty two dollars and nineteen cents on that book. And so, Andrew, are you prepared to buy the book? Andrew's prepared. Uh, he's excited to buy it. He's using my. Oh, that's wallet. weird. I'm he's, seeing somebody just bought a hundred books. Oh, oh, sorry, that was my mom. Oh, sorry. oh yeah. thank, thank you, Miss Clapp. Yeah. Hey, Oren, I appreciate you so much for being on the show, my friend, and. Uh, I'll give you the floor. Do you have a final word you want to share with our listeners? We just appreciate you so much. Yeah, I think today sales and conversion is so jammed up. It's either flip the script or die. Oof. I, well, I'll tell you what. I've got a little sound effect I want to hit right there because that right there is hot. And, uh, you're getting ready to flow until the glory of God. Wow. That's some glory right there, Oren. Thank you for being on the show, and I hope you have an awesome rest of your day. Thank you. I've enjoyed it. This, the sound effects and the good questions and the guest speakers, I'm, I'm overwhelmed and uh, appreciative. Hey, you take care. And Oren, we're off, and I'm going to get this show all edited, and this show is set to go out in October. Okay, great. And when it goes out, uh, we'll send it to your people so you can uh, – Promote it or not promote it to your heart's content. But either yeah, way, we'll, I really we'll appreciate your, your your book, man. Hopefully you feel like I prepared well enough because uh, I've honored to, to have you on the show. Yeah, you prepared for sure. I appreciate it. I had plenty of great things to say, so let it fly. All right, my friend. You take care and have a great day. Enjoy, enjoy those motorcycles. Okay, I will. I will. Thanks for the interview. I appreciate it. All right. Bye. All right. Bye, guys. I encourage everybody out there to purchase Oren Claff's book, Pitch anything. Uh, that book has had such an impact on my life. Um, I made my wife listen to that audiobook with me, I think three times uh, when I was driving to Dallas and back because I was struggling to understand it. It was blowing my mind. I was having her take notes while I was driving. I'm like, mm-hmm. oh, right. Oh, pause it. Pause it. Write that down. Write that down. Pop, pop. No, no. That right there. That's hot. And my wife gets things quickly because she's smart and I don't. Um, mm-hmm. But that book, I'm just telling you, that book right there uh, is an impressive book pick it out today just get get the book today go to amazon buy pitch anything and his newest book flip the script i I would encourage you i have not read the book yet though i have not read the book flip the script i encourage you to get it. i'm getting i just bought a copy of the book myself i look forward to digesting that book and breaking it down on the show Uh, but again check out oren claff's book pitch anything and flip the script and uh dr breck i'll let you have the final word here for anybody out there who's afraid of selling something what's your final word of encouragement to help all of our listeners sell something pitch anything and to move beyond just surviving financially well i would say uh like clay had said earlier um you know find your value in uh something other than the sale itself um you know you are a valuable person yep um and then uh find the value in the product that you're selling uh the service that you're selling um, believe in the product, believe in the service, uh, full wholeheartedly, yep. and you won't find it nearly as difficult to sell. And if you work somewhere where you can't sell something because you did, you disagree with the ethics of it, you don't mm-hmm. believe in the product, you don't believe in what you're selling, it's you know it doesn't. On. It's time to move on. It is. Yeah, you you've got it. If I believe in something, I'll, I'm not a salesman. I'm not. I promise you, I'm not. Um, but if I believe in something, I can sell anything. Um, you know, it's. Uh, People will go and they'll tell all their friends about their uh, favorite new pair of shoes or this restaurant that they visited. You're selling it. That's what you're doing. You're you're out there marketing for that business because you had a great experience. There it because is. you believe in it. If you don't believe in your product, your service, you're not going to be good at selling it. But if you fully believe in it True. and you're passionate about it, you won't find it very difficult at all. And now without any further ado, we'd like to end each and every show with a boom. Uh, Jason, are you prepared? Always. Mr. Listener, Mrs. Listener, are you prepared? Yes. Okay. And uh, uh, Dr. Breck, are you prepared? I'm ready. Here we go. And now without any further ado, three, two, one, boom. The key to understanding economics, we get paid for bringing value to the marketplace. Marketplace is also described as reality, reality, the marketplace. Now, it takes time. It takes time to bring value to the marketplace, but we don't get paid for time. It's very important for kids to understand, as well as adults. We don't get paid for time. Mistakenly, the man says, well, I'm making about $20 for an hour. Not true. Not true. If that was true, you could just stay home, have them send your money. It's not true. You don't get paid for the hour. You get paid for the value you put in 
the time. So we don't get paid for time, we get paid for value. Now, since that's true, here's one of the key questions of the afternoon. Gabe Salinas, welcome to the Thrive Time Show. How are you, sir? I am wonderful, Clay. I'm glad to be here with you today. And just to give people a little context, um, how long have we worked with you in your in your business, sir? A little over three years, Clay. We've been together for a little bit of a journey now. And I think we picked the best of times and the worst of times to work together. I mean, it's like right at the peak of the geopolitical craziness. That's when we started working with you. But you've continued to grow. Um, what kind of growth have you seen over these past three years? Just so the listeners know that you do have, in fact, a business that can navigate through difficult times. Well, we have over doubled our, our business here at Window Ninjas since working with you. Um, I actually went back and looked through our numbers and um, I looked at some of our goals that we had set in the original conversation that I had with your team. And um, we have surpassed my original number that I wanted to hit with you guys. And I was quite shocked at how, I won't say easy, but systematic it was for us to be able to get to where we wanted to be. Well, folks, you can have massive success through systems. You see, there's only so much of you to go around. So if you find yourself perpetually busy and perpetually distracted and you feel overwhelmed because you can only add so much value to the day by doing all the work yourself, eventually, you, eventually you're going to have to have a business that can implement systems, a business that's implementing proven systems that allows you to scale the value you add to, the, to, the, to the, your community, to your marketplace. Again, because you get paid for the value that you add to the hour, not for the amount of hours that you work. So again, if you're out there today and you say, I am tired of exchanging my hours for dollars and you want to buy a business that will allow you to scale your income earning capacity, perhaps buying a franchise is a great idea for you. And here to talk about how you can achieve massive success through systems is the founder of windowninjas.com, longtime client, the founder of windowninjas.com, Gabe Salinas. Welcome on to the Thrive Time Show. How are you, sir? Hey, Clay, thanks for having me. I'm doing well. I hope you are. Hey, bro, I got to ask you this. So Jim Rohn, years ago, the best-selling author, he said that you get paid not for the hours you work, but for the value that you add to those hours. Can you talk about how owning a business can allow somebody out there to achieve time freedom and financial freedom in a way that a job cannot? Well, the cool thing about being a business owner is you can literally – uh, earn as much money as you want or need, whatever your goals are financially. Um, if you if you know what those goals are, know what that number is, know much know how much you want to live, um, or what it's going to take you to live your life that you want that you, that's your dream, um, then you can kind of reverse uh, do the reverse math on that so that you know exactly how much your business should be doing in revenue, how much profit you're going to need from that revenue, and if that profit number. Um, matches up with what your goal income is, which is going to also equal to your goal life, your life goals and the life you're wanting to live, then um, you've really achieved success because, you know, at the end of the day, that's what business owners are, are in business for is they, they basically want to be their own boss and they want to earn um, an amount of revenue that they are comfortable with or have set their goals for and um, have a business that can run and operate itself uh, based on systems and processes that are followed by employees so that, again, it comes back to having what you want at the end of the day. So let's get into the details of this. So your business, windowninjas.com, you primarily clean um, windows, but you don't just clean windows. I mean, you guys have a variety of services. You do gutter cleaning, window cleaning, pressure washing, dryer vent cleaning, holiday lighting. And so when somebody who is a franchise owner underneath your system when they uh, provide services to their local community, let's say that they provide window cleaning or gutter cleaning or pressure washing, how does the local owner get paid? How does that work? Like, you know, what, what does the average person spend on a window cleaning service and how much of that could potentially become profit for the local owner? Uh, well, on average, because we, we service many different types of clients from residential to commercial storefronts to commercial uh, mid and high rise buildings. So, the average residential customer is going to spend about $300 per service, uh, whereas the average commercial route recurring job will have their services completed about once every two weeks on average at a rate of about $35. Um, and then, of course, the larger jobs, the mid-rise buildings are going to run typically around the $8,000 range. And then you start getting into stuff that's over five stories, and that can range on average depending on 10 to let's say a 
story building is going to run you anywhere from thirty to forty thousand dollars. So there's a wide variety of income streams that come in from what we do over here at Window Ninjas because we don't just isolate ourselves to just one segment of the industry. Uh, there's a lot of other companies out there that do that. There's a lot of other franchise companies that do that. They'll specialize in only residential work, and some will just specialize in high rise work. But what we do over here is we specialize in everything. And we we know that a piece of glass is a piece of glass to clean. Um, doesn't matter if it's 20 stories off the ground or if it's two feet off the ground. Um, we still got to clean it. We still got to access it. And we still are going to earn revenue from solving a customer's problem with 30 windows. So a franchise owner with us over here at Window Ninjas has multiple streams of revenue from mul multiple streams of clients that need our services. And that goes with window cleaning, pressure washing, gutter cleaning, cleaning out dryer vents, as well as um, installing holiday lights on a facility or a residence to um, make their house look great or their commercial property look great during the holiday season. But there was a time where you initially were out there, you know, cleaning the uh, windows yourself. I mean, you were out there window cleaning and at, at a certain point, you know, you had this desire to build a business um, what was that transition like for you to go from a guy who cleaned windows uh, to becoming a guy who owned a window cleaning business? Well, um, I mean, it was definitely um, something that was, uh, it was a goal and, and it was an achievable goal. And the only way I would have done it, been able to do it is if I would have had some people that were able to mentor me and teach me the ropes of cleaning windows, you know, from literally how to scrub a window, to squeegee the glass off, how to become very proficient with a squeegee, how to keep your tools nice, neat, clean, and organized, how to keep your truck and all of your other equipment nice, neat, and organized, um, to actually just interacting with customers and customer service experiences, as well as taking my natural ability to sell. Not everybody is a good salesperson. Um, everybody has to work at being a great salesperson, but some people just have a little bit more of a, um, a natural, uh, they resonate a little bit with it more naturally. But that doesn't mean anybody, anybody can't do it. Um, but anyways, I was able to take all of those those things and wrap them up into one and then start my own company. Um, and I actually did it, Clay. I did it as a franchisee myself. Um, granted, that franchise system was a poorly run franchise system, and I was an exceptional one in that franchise because of my habits and traits of doing things, um, making sure that I had everything in order, making sure everything, all of my checklists were in order, making sure that I was very well organized and I kept my employees very well organized. And at the end of the day, when that um, when that time for my renewals came up and I realized how little they were giving me, I basically started Window Ninjas. And what was cool is with my organization and some help with people like yourself, I was able to really amp up the organization and um, the efficiencies. And that is really what scaled us over here at Window Ninjas. I mean, we really took off and we took off quick. Um, and, you know, it's because of our organizational skills and knowing that every system needed to be run like a well-oiled machine and all of those well-oiled machines put together really, really, really built the race car and the race car has just kept on running. And you're in a spot right now with your organization, windowninjas.com, that you've nailed down the processes so tight and so uh, clean, so systematic that you can now open up multiple locations. So when somebody buys a Window Ninjas franchise from you, they're not just, um, you know, buying uh, the, the logo. They're not just buying the brand. Uh, they're not just buying the website. They're not just buying a call center that that books the appointments for them. They're not just buying turnkey processes for everything. They're not just buying the ongoing mentorship. They're buying all of that. If you could take a moment, uh, maybe four or five minutes here, and tell tell us all the things that people get when they buy a window ninjas.com franchise. We'd love to hear that from you. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I love, I love talking about window ninjas. Um, so it's really cool. And what's one of our differentiators is, is right off the bat. Um, we have a true call center. There's a lot of companies, a lot of franchises out there that have a called a call center. Uh, but there's a difference between just a call center and um, what we do over here with our call center, with our call center, we take, we, we start with, Every phone call is scripted. Every phone call is recorded. Every single one of our call center agents are trained and educated daily. Um, we have a weekly meeting every single week, uh, Monday mornings. Um, we come in and we train for an hour. We review things that were great last week, uh, the previous week. We go over things that were um, maybe needed. we needed to get a little bit better at. Um, 
But that's that call center that we have is really the heart of what we do is because we answer every single one of our franchisees phone calls and we treat them like they are they are in our own backyard or we're meeting them face to face. So we facilitate their needs. We answer their questions. We schedule the jobs that allows the franchisees to actually have work on the books for them. And they don't have to worry about, hey, I got to answer the phone or I need to take this phone call or oh, I got to schedule that job. Um, it allows them to be able to to run and manage their service personnel and the service personnel on site is is um, trained and educated by our masters. We have what's called master uh, service professionals and our service professionals that are masters are the ones that train our franchisees and they train them on the services. We have a accounting team that trains our franchisees on the accounting processes. Um, we even have our sales manager who actually trains our franchisees on the proper way to sell techniques, um, how to do drop-offs, uh, daily phone calls, things like that. Everything that they need to be a successful franchisee, they are trained by somebody who has specialized in that specific portion of the business. Um, so from the training and the education, the continual mentorship that they get from me, I mean, every one of our franchisees has access to me and our CEO, I mean, our, our CFO, as well as our chief operations officer, um, they can dial them up at any time and answer and have them answer any questions that they may have related to that specific portion of the business. Um, and then we also, we always source out the best equipment. Um, our operations officer, he is a master when it comes to uh, looking over new equipment, looking over previous equipment that we purchased in the past, uh, equipment that we're utilizing currently, equipment that or new technology that's coming up um, to make our jobs even more efficient and, and better than what we're already producing now. Um, and so everybody in our system, from the sales manager to myself as the, 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 the head honcho, if you want to call me that, um, our CFO and our CEO, everybody plays a role here to make sure that our franchisees are being as a successful um, organization as they possibly can. Can uh, We have weekly meetings with every one of our franchisees. Plus we also do follow-ups throughout the weeks to check on them, but they're just, they got a lot of handholding um, because we want them to be successful and we want our franchisees to understand that, Hey, if they ever, ever, ever have a question or they run into a problem or, Hey, maybe they have a new idea, whatever the case may be, that they can come to us and know that they can talk to us one-on-one -on -one and we can answer any questions they have, and we're right there by their side. So from the call center to helping them with marketing, to making sure that their accounting is being being done properly, um, to making sure their insurances are, are, are proper and they're not paying too little or not paying too much. Um, if they have audits with insurance, how we, we, we teach them how to, how to handle that and how to, how to streamline that to make it easy for the auditors as well as for themselves. So there's just so many different systems and processes that we have over here that we provide our franchises that just really benefits them from a time savings perspective. Um, and you and I both know, Clay, that time is money. And the more time that we can save our franchisees, the more profitable they become and the more they're able to live the life that they are really looking for. Um, and I think that's what most franchisees are looking for. They're wanting a business, but they don't want to have to technically work in the business all day long. And they shouldn't have to. Nobody should have to do that um, if they've been in business long enough. You know, I, I understand when you start to open up a new business, you're definitely going to have to work into it or in it. And you're going to have to train new employees, this, that, and the other. But once you start getting into that system and you basically scale yourself, then the business business really takes off and it starts to run with your leadership as opposed to your uh, physicality in the business. Now, I want to pull this up real quick because I think a lot of folks are, are having that question. If they go to windowninjas.com and they're interested in buying a windowninjas.com franchise, uh, walk us through in the final 60 seconds here, you know, how much does it cost and, and what's the first uh, step people need to take if they want to buy a windowninjas.com franchise? Well, the first step they need to take is um, they can go to our website, um, and they can go to the franchising page and they can fill out a form. Um, that form will come over to us over here at Window Ninjas corporate office in Wilmington, North Carolina. And one of our um, agents will definitely reach out and start the discussion. Uh, the franchise fee um, is $49,500. And there's an additional $10,000 addendum if you want to do the high rise addendum. 
Um, what's included in that is, like I said before, it's all of the training, all the education. We set you, we, 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 uh, of course you got to buy your equipment, but we set all your equipment up for you. We know exactly what trucks that you, you need to buy. We know exactly what kind of ladder racks have to be go on them. We know exactly what the wraps are going to be, be placed on them. We have everything set up so that when they come here to our corporate office, after they've purchased the franchise and they get their training, they spend a good solid week with us and they really get inundated with information. We probably give them so much information that when they go home, they're trying to take a nap for three days because they've got an overload. But again, we keep on, we don't just stop there. We just keep on going. And every day we we check in, ask them how they're doing, find out if there's anything we can help them with. We kind of go through their checklist of what their dailies are supposed to be, supposed to be, what they're supposed to be doing to, to generate um, business. Um, and we make sure that the marketing that that we're providing them is also uh, driving leads to them. We can track the leads here as, as, as well, but we, we always verify with them. Um, like I said, I don't want to call it hand holding, but we really, really, really do want to hold that franchisee's hand to begin with. Because when you buy a new business and you're coming into a new industry, yeah, it's a little scary, but you know what? The risk is definitely worth uh, the reward. And it doesn't take long for our franchisees to get off the ground and really get moving. Um, we've got four corporate locations and we've got six franchisees and we're looking to grow to 60. And um, we have definitely scaled We've and we've been able to scale our process so that it benefits our customers who are actually paying for the services. And it also benefits the franchisees who are in the business of serving all of our Window Ninjas customers. Um, and that's something else that they learn over here at Window Ninjas is our level of customer service is something that probably – uh, sets us apart from most companies in the world today. Um, we really believe in giving value to our clients and we really believe in solving their problem. Everybody has a problem and they need it to be solved. And that is our goal. What is it? How do we fix it? How do we do it for you? What what level of service are we going to provide you, which is always going to be top notch? And our customers are always happy. I mean, we're, that's part of the reason why we're one of the highest rated, most reviewed window and pressure cleaning companies in the industry. Gabe Salinas, I really do appreciate you joining us. And again, folks, I encourage everyone to check out windowninjas.com. That's windowninjas.com. That's the founder of windowninjas.com, Gabe Salinas. Thank you so much, sir. And we'll talk to you next week. Sounds good, Clay. Have a good day, bud. The number of new customers that we've had is up 411% over last year. We are Jared and Jennifer Johnson. We own Platinum Pest and Lawn and are located in Owasso, Oklahoma. And we have been working with Thrive for business coaching for almost a year now. Yeah. So, so what we want to do is we want to share some wins with you guys uh, that, that we've had by working with Thrive. Um, first of all, um, we're on the top page of Google now. Okay. Um, I just want to let you know what type of accomplishment this is. Our competition, Orkin, Terminex, they're both $1.3 billion companies. They both have two to 3,000 pages of content um, attached to their website. So to basically go from... Uh, virtually non-existent on Google to up on the top page is, is really saying something. Um, but that's come by being uh, diligent to the systems that, that Thrive has, um, by, be, by uh, being consistent and diligent on, on doing podcasts um, and staying on top of those podcasts um, to really help uh, with, with getting up on, uh, uh, with their listing and ranking there with Google. And also we've been um, trying to get Google reviews, you know, asking our customers for reviews. And now we're the highest rated and most reviewed pest and lawn company in the Tulsa area. And that's really helped with our conversion rate. And the number of new customers that we've had is up 411% over last year. Wait, say, say that again. How much are we up? 411%. Okay. So 411% um, we're up with, with our new customers. Amazing. Right. right. So not only do we have more customers calling in, we're able to close those deals at a much higher rate than we were before. Right now, our closing rate is about 85%, and that's largely uh, due to, uh, first of all, like our Google reviews that we've gotten people really see that our customers are happy, but also we have a script that we follow. And so when customers call in, they get all the information that they need. Uh, that script has been refined time and time again. Uh, it wasn't a one and done deal. We it was a system that we that we followed with Thrive in in the refining process, and that has obviously um, the four hundred eleven percent shows that 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 system works. Yeah. So here's a big one for you. So last week alone, our booking percentage was ninety one percent. We actually booked more deals, more new customers last year than we did the first five months. Or I'm sorry, the first we, we booked more deals last week than we did the first five months of last year from before we we, we worked with Thrive. So again, we booked more deals last week than the first five months of last year. And it's incredible. But, but the reason why we have that success is by implementing uh, the systems that, that Thrive has taught us and, and, and helped us out with. So. 
Some of those systems that we've implemented are group interviews. That way we've really been able to uh, come up with a really great team. Um, we've created and implemented checklists. That way everything um, gets done and it gets done right. Uh, we, it creates accountability. Uh, we're able to make sure that everything uh, gets done properly, both out in the field and also in our office. Um, and also doing the podcast, like Jared had mentioned, that has really, really contributed to our success. But that, like I said, the diligence and um, consistency in doing those in that system has really, um, really been a, a big blessing in our lives. And also, um, you know, it's really shown that we've gotten the success from following those systems. Yeah. So before working with Thrive, uh, we were basically stuck. Um, really no new growth um, with, with our with our business. Um, and we, we were in a rut and we but, didn't know... Oh, sorry. The last three years, our customer base had pretty much stayed the same. We weren't shrinking, but we weren't really growing either. Yeah, and so we didn't we didn't really know where to go, what to do, how to get out of this rut that we're in. Uh, but Thrive helped us with that. You know, they, they implemented those systems. That they taught us those systems. They taught us the knowledge that we needed um, in order to succeed. Now it's been a grind. Absolutely, it's been a grind this last year. Um, but we're but we're getting those fruits uh, from from that hard work and, and the diligent effort that, that we're able to put into it. Um, so again, we were in a rut. Thrive helped us get out of that rut. Um, and uh, and if you're thinking about um, working with, with, with Thrive, quit thinking about it and just do it. Um, do the action, um, and you'll get the results. It, it will take hard work and discipline, um, but but uh, but that's what it's going to take in order to in order to, to really succeed. So uh, we just want to give a big shout out to Thrive, a big thank you out there to, to Thrive. We wouldn't be where we at, where we're at now um, without their help. Hi, I'm Dr. Mark Moore. I'm a pediatric dentist. Through our new digital marketing plan, we have seen a market increase in the number of new patients that we're seeing every month, year over year. One month, for example, we went from 110 new patients the previous year to over 180 new patients um, in the same month. And overall, our average is running about 40 to 42 percent increase month over month, year over year. The group of people required to implement our new digital marketing plan is immense, starting with a business coach, videographers, photographers, web designers. Back when I graduated dental school in 1985, nobody advertised. The only marketing that was ethically allowed in everybody's eyes was mouth-to-mouth -mouth marketing. By choosing to use the services, you're choosing to use a proof and turnkey marketing and coaching system that will grow your practice and get you the results that you are looking for. I went to the University of Oklahoma College of Dentistry, graduated in 1983, and then I did my pediatric dental residency at Baylor College of Dentistry from 1983 to 1985. Hello, my name is Charles Kolaw with Kolaw Fitness. Uh, today I wanna to tell you a little bit about Clay Clark and how I know Clay Clark. Clay Clark has been my business coach since 2017. He's helped us grow from two locations to now six locations. We're planning to do seven locations in seven years and then franchise. And Clay has done a great job of helping us navigate anything that has to do with like running the business, building the systems, the checklists, the workflows, the audits, um, how to, how to um, navigate lease agreements, how to uh, buy property, um, how to uh, work with brokers and builders. This guy is just amazing. He's, he's This kind of guy has worked in every single industry. He's written books with like Lee Crockerell, head of Disney with the 40,000 cast members. Um, he's friends with like Mike Lindell. Um, he does Reawaken America tours where he does these tours all across the country where 10,000 or more people show up to some of these tours. On the day-to-day, -day, he does anywhere from uh, about 160 companies. He's at the top. He has a team of uh, business coaches, videographers, gra and graphic designers and web developers, and they run 160 companies every single week. So think of this guy with a team of business coaches running 160 companies. So in the weekly, he's running 160 companies. Um, every six to eight weeks, he's doing Reawaken America tours. Every six to eight weeks, he's also doing business conferences where 200 people show up and he teaches people a 13 step proven system that he's done and worked with billionaires, helping them grow their companies. Um, so he's, I've seen guys from startups go from startup to being multimillionaires, um, teaching people how to get time freedom and financial freedom through the system critical thinking, document creation, um, making it, putting it into, uh, or organizing everything in their head to building into a, a franchisable, scalable business. Like one of his businesses has like 500 franchises. That's just one of the companies or brands that he works with. So amazing guy, Elon Musk kind, kind of like smart guy. Um, he kind of comes off sometimes as socially awkward, but he's so brilliant and he's taught me so much. When I say that, like, like 
Clay is like, he doesn't care what people think when you're talking to him. He cares about where you're going in your life and where he can get you to go. Um, and uh, that's what I like him most about him. He's like, he's like a, a good coach. A coach isn't just making you feel good all the time. A coach is actually helping you get to the best you. And Clay has been an amazing business coach. Through the course of that, we became friends. Um, my, I was really most impressed with him is when I was shadowing him one time. Um, we went into a business deal and listened to it. I, I got to shadow and listen to it. And when we walked out, I knew that he could make millions on the deal. And they were super excited about working with him. And he told me, he's like, I'm not going to touch it. I'm going to turn it down. Um, because he knew it was going to harm the common good of people in the long run. And uh, the guy's integrity um, just really wowed me. Uh, it brought tears to my eyes to see that this guy, his, he doesn't, his highest desire was to do what's right. And um, uh, anyways, just, just, just an amazing man. So anyways, impacted me a lot. Um, he's helped navigate. Anytime I've gotten nervous or worried about uh, how to run the company or uh, you know, navigating competition and, 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 and an economy that's like, I remember we got closed down for three months. He helped us navigate on how to stay open, how to, how to get back open, how to um, uh, just survive through all the COVID shutdowns, lockdowns, because our clubs were all closed for. I'm Rachel with Tip Top Canine, and we just want to give a huge thank you to Clay and Vanessa Clark. Hey guys, I'm Ryan with Tip Top Canine. Just want to say a big thank you to Thrive 15. Thank you to Make Your Life Epic. We love you guys, we appreciate you, and really just appreciate how far you've taken us. This is our old house, right? This is where we used to live two years ago. This is our old neighborhood. As you can see, it's uh, nice, right? So this is my old van and our old school marketing, and this is our old team. And by team, I mean it's me and another guy. This is our new house with our new neighborhood. This is our new van with our new marketing, and this is our new team. We went from four to 14, and I took this beautiful photo. We worked with several different business coaches in the past, and they were all about helping Ryan sell better and um, just teaching sales, which is awesome, but Ryan is a really great salesman, so we didn't need that. We needed somebody to help us get everything that was in his head out into systems, into manuals and scripts, and actually build a team. So now that we have systems in place, we've gone from one to 10 locations in only a year. In October 2016, we grossed 13 grand for the whole month. Uh, right now it's 2018, the month of October. It's only the 22nd. We've already grossed a little over 50 grand for the whole month and we still have time to go. We're just thankful for you, thankful for Thrive and your mentorship and we're really thankful that you guys have helped us to grow a business that we run now instead of the business running us. Just thank you, thank you, thank you times a thousand. The Thrive Time Show two-day interactive business workshops are the highest and most reviewed business workshops on the planet. You can learn the proven 13-point uh, business system that Dr. Zellner and I have used over and over to start and grow successful companies. I mean, we get into the specifics, the specific steps on what you need to do to optimize your website. We're going to teach you how to fix your conversion rate. Uh, we're going to teach you how to do a social media marketing campaign that works. How do you raise capital? How do you get a small business loan? We teach you everything you need to know here during a two-day, 15-hour workshop. It's all here for you. You work every day in your business, but for two days you can escape and work on your business and build these proven systems so now you can have a successful company that will produce both the time freedom and the financial freedom that you deserve. You're going to leave energized, motivated, but you're also going to leave empowered. The reason why I've built these workshops is because as an entrepreneur, I always wish that I had this. And because there wasn't anything like this, I would go to these motivational seminars, no money down, real estate, Ponzi scheme, get motivated seminars, and they would never teach me anything. It was like you went there and you paid for the, the big chocolate Easter bunny, but inside of it, it was a hollow nothingness. And I wanted the knowledge, and they're like, oh, but we'll teach you the knowledge after our next workshop. And the great thing is we, we have nothing to upsell. At every workshop, we teach you what you need to know. There's no one in the back of the room trying to sell you some next big uh, get rich quick, walk on hot coals uh, product. It's literally, we teach you the brass tacks, the specific stuff that you need to know to learn how to start and grow a business. And I encourage you to not believe what I'm saying. And I want you to Google uh, the Z66 auto auction. I want you to Google elephant in the room. 
look at Robert Zellner and Associates. Look them up and say, are they successful because they're geniuses or are they successful because they have a proven system? When you do that research, you will discover that the same systems that we use in our own business can be used in your business. Come to Tulsa, book a ticket, and I guarantee you it's going to be the best business workshop ever and we'll even give you your money back if you don't love it. We've built this facility for you and we're excited to see you. JT, do you know what time it is? Um, 4.10. It's, it's Tebow time in Tulsa, oh. Jerusalem, baby. Tim Tebow is coming to Tulsa, Oklahoma Whoa. during the month of Christmas, December 5th and 6th, 2024. Tim Tebow is coming to Tulsa, Oklahoma in the two-day interactive Thrive Time Show Hello. Business Growth Workshop. Hello. Yes, folks, put it in your calendar this Hello. December, the month of Christmas, Hello. December 5th and 6th. Hello. Tim Tebow is coming to Tulsa, Oklahoma in the Thrive Hello. Time Show two-day interactive Hello. Business Growth Workshop. Whoa. We've been doing business conferences here uh, since 2005. I've been hosting business conferences since, since 2005. What year were you born? Uh, 1995. Dude, I've been hosting business conferences since you were 10 years old. And a lot of people, you know, have followed Tim Tebow's football career on the field uh, and off the field. And off the field, the guy's been just as successful as he has been on the field. Now, the big question is, JT, how does he do it? Hmm. Well, they're going to have to come and find out because I don't know. Well, I'm just no. saying, Tip Tebow is going to teach us how he organizes his day, how he organizes his life, how he's proactive with his faith, his family, his finances. He's going to walk us through his mindset that he brings into the gym, into business. It is going to be a blasty blast in Tulsa, Jerusalem. Folks, I'm telling you, if you want to learn branding, you want to learn marketing, you want to learn search engine optimization, you want to learn social media marketing, that's what we teach at the Thrive Time Show two-day interactive workshop. If you want to learn accounting, you want to learn sales systems, you want to learn how to build a linear workflow, you want to learn how to franchise your business, that is what we teach at the two-day interactive Thrive Time Show business workshop. You know, over the years, we've had the opportunity to feature Michael Levine, the, the PR consultant of choice for Nike, for, for Prince, for Michael J. Jackson. We've had the top PR consultant in the history of the planet has spoken at the Thrive Time Show workshops. We've had Jill Donovan, the founder of RusticCuff.com, a company that creates apparel worn by celebrities all throughout the world. Jill Donovan, the founder of RusticCuff.com, has spoken at the two-day interactive Thrive Time Show business workshops. We have the guy, we've had the man who's responsible for turning around Harley Davidson, a man by the name of Ken Schmidt. He has spoken at the Thrive Time Show two-day interactive business workshops. Folks, I'm telling you, these events are going to teach you what you need to know to start and grow a successful business. And the way we price the events, the way we, we do these events, is you can pay $250 for a ticket or whatever price that you can afford. What? Yes! We've designed these events to be affordable for you, and we want to see you live and in person at the two-day interactive December 5th and 6th Thrive Time Show Business Workshop. Everything that you need to succeed will be taught at the two-day interactive Thrive Time Show Business Workshop, December 5th and 6th in Tulsa, Oklahoma. And the way we do these events is we teach for 30 minutes, and then we open it up for a question and answer session so that wonderful people like you can have your questions answered. Yes, we teach for 30 minutes, and then we open it up for a 15-minute question and answer session. It's interactive. It's two days. It's in Tulsa, Oklahoma. We've been doing these events since 2005, and I'm telling you folks, it's going to blow your mind. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, the Thrive Time Show two-day interactive business workshop is America's highest rated and most reviewed business workshop. See the thousands of video testimonials from real people just like you who've been able to build multi-million dollar companies. Watch those testimonials today at thrivetimeshow.com simply by clicking on the testimonials button right there at thrivetimeshow.com. You're going to see thousands of people just like you who've been able to go from just surviving to thriving. Whoa. Each and every day, we're going to add more and more speakers to this all-star lineup, but I encourage everybody out there today, get those tickets today. Go to thrivetimeshow.com. Again, that's thrivetimeshow.com. And some people might be saying, well, how do I do it? What do I do? How does it work? You just go to thrivetimeshow.com. Let's go there now. We're feeling the flow. We're going to thrivetimeshow.com. Again, you just go to thrivetimeshow.com. You click on the business conferences button and you click on the request tickets button right there. Um, the way I do our conferences is we tell people it's $250 to get a ticket yep, or whatever price that you can afford. And the reason why I do that is I grew up without money. 
Uh, JT, you're in the process of building a super successful company. Um, yep. Did you start out with a million dollars in the bank account? No, I did not. Nope, did not get any loans, nothing like that. Did not get an inheritance from parents or anything like that. I had to work for it, and I uh, am super grateful I came to a business conference. That's actually how I met you, met Peter Taunton. I met all these people. So if you're out there today and you want to come to our workshop, again, you just got to go to thrivetimeshow.com. You might say, well, who's speaking? We already covered that. You might say, where's it going to be? It's going to be in Tulsa, Jerusalem, Oklahoma. And someone says, Tulsa, Jerusalem. Uh, it's... I'm really trying to rebrand Tulsa as Tulsa Jerusalem, sort of like the Jerusalem of America. But if you go to, if you type in Thrive Time Show and Jinx, you can get a sneak peek or a look at our office facility. This is what it looks like. This is where you're headed. It's going to be a blasty blast. You can look inside, see the facility. We're going to have hundreds of entrepreneurs here. It is going to be packed. Now, for this particular event, folks, uh, the seating is always limited because my facility isn't a limitless um convention center you're coming to my actual home office and so it's going to be packed who you you're going to come who you I'm, I'm talking to you you can just get your tickets right now at thrivetimeshow.com and again you can name your price we tell people it's 250 dollars or whatever price you can afford and we do have some select vip tickets which gives you an access to meet some of the speakers and those sorts of things and those tickets are 500 dollars. it's a two-day interactive business workshop over 20 hours of business training we're going to give you a copy of my newest book the Millionaire's Guide to Becoming Sustainably Rich. You're going to leave with a workbook. You're going to leave with everything you need to know to start and grow a super successful company. It's practical, it's actionable, and it's Tebow time right here in Tulsa, Jerusalem. Get those tickets today at thrivetimeshow.com. Again, that's thrivetimeshow.com. Hello, I'm Michael Levine, and I'm talking to you right now from the center of Hollywood, California, where I have represented over the last 35 years 58 Academy Award winners, 34 Grammy Award winners, 43 New York Times bestsellers. I've represented a lot of major stars and I've worked with a lot of major companies. And I think I've learned a few things about what makes them work and what makes them not work. Now, why would a man living in Hollywood, California, in the beautiful sunny weather of LA, come to Tulsa? Because last year I did it, and it was damn exciting. Clay Clark has put together an exceptional uh, presentation. Really life-changing. And I'm looking forward to seeing you then. I'm Michael Levine. I'll see you in Tulsa. Thrive Time Show two-day interactive business workshops are the world's highest rated and most reviewed business workshops. Because we teach you what you need to know to grow. You can learn the proven 13-point uh, business systems that Dr. Zellner and I have used over and over to start and grow successful companies. I mean, we get into the specifics, the specific steps on what you need to do to optimize your website. We're going to teach you how to fix your conversion rate. Uh, we're going to teach you how to do a social media marketing campaign that works. How do you raise capital? How do you get a small business loan? We teach you everything you need to know here during a two-day, 15-hour workshop. It's all here for you. You work every day in your business, but for two days you can escape and work on your business and build these proven systems so now you can have a successful company that will produce both the time freedom and the financial freedom that you deserve. You're going to leave energized, motivated, but you're also going to leave empowered. The reason why I've built these workshops is because as an entrepreneur, I always wish that I had this. And because there wasn't anything like this, I would go to these motivational seminars, no money down, real estate, Ponzi scheme, get motivated seminars, and they would never teach me anything. It was like you went there and you paid for the, the big chocolate Easter bunny, but inside of it, it was a hollow nothingness. And I wanted the knowledge, and they're like, oh, but we'll teach you the knowledge after our next workshop. And the great thing is we, we have nothing to upsell. At every workshop, we teach you what you need to know. There's no one in the back of the room trying to sell you some next big uh, get rich quick, walk on hot coals uh, product. It's literally, we teach you the brass tacks, the specific stuff that you need to know to learn how to start and grow a business. And I encourage you to not believe what I'm saying. And I want you to Google uh, the Z66 auto auction. I want you to Google elephant in the room. Look at Robert Zellner and Associates. Look them up and say, are they successful because they're geniuses or are they successful because they have a proven system? When you do that research, you will discover that the same systems that we use in our own business can be used in your business. Come to Tulsa, book a ticket, and I guarantee you it's going to be the best business workshop ever and we'll even give you your money back if you don't love it. We've built this facility for you and we're excited to see you. 
now you may be thinking, what does it actually cost to attend an in-person two-day interactive Thrive Time Show business workshop? Well, good news. The tickets are $250 or whatever price that you can afford. What? Yes, they're $250 or whatever price you can afford. I grew up without money, and I know what it's like to live without money. So if you're out there today and you want to attend our in-person two-day interactive business workshop, all you got to do is go to thrivetimeshow.com to request those tickets. And if you can't afford $250, we have scholarship pricing available to make it affordable for you. I learned at the Academy, Kings Point in New York, octa non verba. Watch what a person does, not what they say. Whoa. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Harvard Kiyosaki, the Rich Dad Radio Show. Today I'm broadcasting from Phoenix, Arizona, not Scottsdale, Arizona. They're closed, but they're completely different worlds. And uh, we have a special guest today. Uh, definition of intelligence is if you agree with me, you're intelligent. And so this gentleman is very intelligent. I've done this show before also, but very seldom do you find somebody who lines up on all counts. And so Mr. Clay Clark, he's a friend of a good friend, Eric, Eric Trump. But we're also talking about money, bricks, and how screwed up the world can get in a few and a half hour. So Clay Clark is a very intelligent man. And there's so many ways we could take this thing. But I thought, uh, since you and Eric are close, Trump, what were you saying about what Trump can't, what Donald, who's my yeah. age, and I can say or cannot say. What, well, I have to, first of all, I have to honor you, sir. I want to show you what I did to one of your books here. There's all a right. guy by the name of Jeremy Thorne, who was my boss at the time. I was 19 years old, working at Faith Highway. I had a job at Applebee's, Target, and DirecTV. And he said, have you read this book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad? And I said, no. And uh, my father, may he rest in peace, um, he didn't know these financial principles. So I started reading all of your books and uh, really devouring your books. And I went from being an employee to self-employed to the business owner to the investor. And I owe a lot of that to you. And I just wanted to take a moment to tell you, thank you so much for allowing me to, to, to achieve success. And then I'll tell you all about Eric Trump. But I just want to tell you, thank you, sir, for changing my life. Well, not only that, Clay, you know, thank you, but you've become an influencer. You know, more than anything else, you've evolved into an influencer where your word has more and more power. So that's why I uh, congratulate you on becoming. Because as you know, there's a lot of fake influencers out there, too, or bad influencers. Yeah. So anyway, I'm, well, I'm, I'm glad you and I agree so much. And thanks for reading my books. Yeah. That's, that's the greatest thrill for me today. Not a thrill, but recognition is when people, young men especially, come up and say, I read your book, changed my life. I'm doing this, I'm doing this, I'm doing this. I learned at the Academy, King, King's Point in New York, octa non verba. Watch what a person does, not what they say. Whoa.